or hares, these wild dog are killing. It's almost like they're singling out the hares at the moment in this place. Isn't that just absolutely incredible? That must have been very, very exciting to watch, to be quite honest. I've managed to find you another giant out here. It seems like that's the only thing that I'm adding value to today, is giving you some giants. This is a buffalo thorn. Now I know you're thinking to me, but buffalo thorns are usually these scraggly little bushes no bigger than three or four feet off of the ground. But this big tree is a prime example of what a buffalo thorn can grow to. And it's absolutely amazing for me the fact that even though there's elephant dung all over the place here, that this tree has managed to, over the years, and I mean this tree is probably close on 100 years old, has managed to escape the notice of the resident elephant in this area who, generally speaking with buffalo thorn, just rip them down to keep them nice and small, keep them coppiced, which is many stems coming from, a, from the ground. It keeps the leaves nice and fresh and gives them something to eat. And everything browses these particular buffalo thorns. In actual fact, the fact that this tree has grown in this fashion, you can see this arc above us, it's grown like that to get out of the reach of giraffe. So giraffe have actually, uh, uh, how do I say, uh, cultivated this tree like this. Their feeding pressure <coughs> has, excuse me, <coughs> their feeding pressure has actually forced the tree to grow in this arch and higher than the, the head of a giraffe. Isn't that wonderful? Now I know of only two trees here at Juma that are approaching this size. This one is slightly thicker in the stem than the other one. The other one is a little bit taller, I think. I'm getting the feeling. And on completely opposite ends of the reserve, they don't they're not occurring in the same place. It's so wonderful being here, you know. We, uh, this is where we were aiming for yesterday, is this area that we're standing in the middle of right now. And it's an area that we very infrequently come to, mainly because it's quite far. We walked a good hour to 